Sziasztok, itt a Devilel Szutta, folytatjuk a Fable 3-at. És most talán úgy döntök, hogy befejezem a Fable 3-at. Normál dingje. Vagy inkább Evil Ending elsőben. Van 24. Nem. Wait a second. Tényleg itt mi nem voltam. You're scaring me, Your Majesty. I think your weapon might be bent. Oh no, wait! That's you! Good. feel like celebrating today because today's the day you die Good good you can you got to go back now Because you're perfect.
Vagyok ezt kell átnézni, van dolog, mi meg volt, dolgó válaszol, egy jelzik. Az ős itt is jelzik egy. his tail. Maybe he's thinking about eating crap. The Queen of Albion should abdicate. We need someone else. Someone competent. You seem like a very nice person. I kill nice people, you know. You remind me of an old... You are scaring me, your majesty. You are scaring me. Good for you. Over there. <laughs> 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 Bigger discount. Someone who's afraid of you is likely to try anything in order to be spared your wrath. I'm fuming now. Is that what you wanted? Who? Give us a nice pint of toad slime. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not every day a queen walks into the rebel headquarters. I thought maybe you'd forgotten where it all started. What do you want, Paige? I don't know if you still care about your people, but since you took the throne, crime has been flourishing. You're starting to have a serious problem on your hands. There's one man in particular, Nigel Ferret. He's making this city his own. Every criminal in Bowerstone reports to him now. He's too powerful for me to deal with, and he's not easy to find. But I know how you can get to him. Good. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market. If you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up. I'd sell me jewelry. Oh, smell this. If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. But if you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The Queen, no less. Have at her, fellas.
It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new centre of operations in Bowerstone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavour to prevent its transference to an unauthorised individual. <laughs> Again. Hey. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Killer! Fast! <laughs> Girls rich. I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person.
You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the Queen to decide. <laughs> Good of you to demonstrate such compassion. I shan't be so ill-mannered as to outstay my welcome. Farewell. You have made great strides, Your Majesty. Witness the glory of your treasury. Don't you just want to go swimming in all that gold? But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. And yet many respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, Your Majesty, but you must make a decision. The residents of Millfields will be most pleased. They will find it money well spent, and I find it money well received. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. Okay. <laughs> Attention for the Queen of Albion. This is going to be interesting. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Who's fine? Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> Your Majesty. It was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself. I celebrate knowledge in all its forms, but our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. 
allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but, but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Yeah. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? Yes, again. <laughs> the Bright Wall Academy will be reopened as promised. But we will charge admission fees. The Bright Wall Academy shall be reopened to those who can afford its services. If that is how it must be. Very well. But I am deeply disappointed you have broken your promise. Very good. I will make arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. The reasonable enrollment fees are within reach of almost 1% of the population, so don't delay Brightwall Academy. As long as you earn, it's the place to learn. <laughs> you know, my father shared out his fortune. Yes, yes, the yes, court yes. summons Page and Reba. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reba will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metal. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home. But it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? You may not have improved the people's lives inside this city, but are you also going to destroy the one place they can find peace? The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. And so on the beach. We need the resources in Bower Lake. It will become a quarry. The Queen has ruled. Bower Lake shall be drained and mined for resources. I applaud your enterprising spirit. The lake shall be drained at once. I fought for you. But you've turned your back on your people. Magic. <laughs> Behold the ugliness of nature, so miserly in its gifts, its very lakeness, an affront to all good sense. Now, see it transformed into an exquisite monument to human ingenuity. Soil and rock offering up life and hope to. Thousands! How can one fail to be moved by such generosity? Reaver Industries proudly presents the Bower Pits. <laughs> I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, Your Majesty. Okay. Yeah, you want to Oh, 
awful. If you are in the market the for quality, look in no further. Enjoy my shop. Buy my goods, friend. Your Majesty, welcome to our temple. I lament the forlorn state in which you find it. Before the darkness came, this room held our most sacred treasure. I had lost all hope of recovering it, for that would require journeying into the desert. We have lost so many people. Who among us would have the courage to face the sands now? Mm. Thank you. You will forgive me for not being more forthright. I am unaccustomed to asking rulers for their help. As for the matter in question, this chamber once housed the temple's sacred dyes. Our rituals cannot be completed without them. The dyes are made from rare flowers found throughout Aurora and the surrounding desert. Gathering them has always been a dangerous task, but when the darkness fell upon us, it became an impossible one. If you can find these flowers and bring them to me, I will begin making the dyes again, and perhaps our people can recover some of the faith they have lost. We will gladly share them with you, of course. Bless you. You have done a great service for us, on behalf of all Aurorans. I thank you. The purple dye represents our dreams. It is worn by those who wish to find wisdom in their sleeping state. The yellow dye represents prosperity. It is used in times of shortages and famine. The blue dye represents sorrow. As you may imagine, this dye was the first to run out. <laughs> Name that idiot! Something good boy. The green dye represents growth, whether through birth or learning. Még a nagyságra is, de nem jön az utolsó. Anyádat, hogy mozogsz! Orange dye represents strength. In ancient times, our fiercest warriors would wear it whenever they went into battle. It's hot. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Let's go there. The red dye represents love in our culture, whether that shared between betrothed couples or parents and their children. The sacred 
dives have been restored, and our culture is close to being whole again. May the blessing of our elders go with you. Okay, I need that. That's my son. Oh, Duke. The way he was, I think, dude. His brother shall fall in May I be of assistance, esteemed customer? No room for it in your life? Terrible. I have room for it in my store. Let's bargain.
every and we got to the studio this one Nie są mniej gdzie. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. Oh, and you got Jonathan. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got a letter back from the company. I know just what to do to put things right. Mata aí eu também gosto. Now, I I know you've all been very sick. But I'm going to make you all better. Won't that be nice? Garrett, what? Jo Jonathan, please. Right, this is for your own good. Dear sir, we were deeply saddened to learn of your recent... Ah, here we are. Face the offending ornaments, maintain eye contact, and speak the following words in a deep, commanding voice. Gargalus minimalusus. Don't do this. I'm sorry. I'm too young to be an animat. Take the others. Just let me go. Who are you, Jimmy? I'll have you. No, shoot it. Shoot the gargoyle. <laughs> No! What have I done? My poor gnomes. Oh, my dear Jonathan. I gave you life, and now... I've taken it away. <laughs> so bad. Well, I can't stay here anymore. The memories are just too painful. Maybe Mother will take me in again. Perhaps she was right. This affection for stone ornaments was unhealthy from the start. I am going to get myself some real friends. So, some stuffed squirrels, maybe. Yes, they do nicely. Thank you 
for making me realize how empty and sad my life is. Please take this small reward. I'm off to mother's. new weapons in your armory. Will you be wanting a different weapon? Care to equip a different weapon? You're there. Heard any interesting news lately? Why do you hate everyone so much? Ah, mano, não sei o que dá com os dois.
Es que de acuerdo, man. Jó, már közel befejezem. De nem végelgesen. Úgyhogy ennyi volt már a veszlát.